Hey guys, it's me and today we are going to be checking out more from After Forever today. We are doing another deep dive into Flora Janssen's discography and into her past and everything. And we're going to be checking out this live performance. And this is a live performance of Face Your Demons, which is a song that I really do enjoy off of Reimagine. It's a really fun track. So we're going to have to deal with shitty quality for this video, but... Hey, whatever. We're gonna be able to listen to Floor perform and everything. And I've talked about this before in the past, why I do these particular reactions to like her older stuff prior to her being in with Nightwish. And it's just simply because I've mentioned this multiple times in the past that I just feel as if when it comes to Nightwish, you don't really get to see everything that Floor is capable of. A lot of people think that when I say that, that she doesn't sound good with Nightwish. I think she sounds wonderful with them. When I say that she's not being used to her full potential, it's just simply that. Like, she's a very versatile type singer. And I also have mentioned that not every Nightwish song is going to call for the wildness that is Floriadson and the versatility that she's capable of producing. I'm very well aware of that. But you would expect them to be able to utilize that a bit more than what they actually do. Remember seeing on Tumblr. I'm not sure how true this is because it's Tumblr, but there was like a gift set and um, Tomas had mentioned that he was um, working on the next Nightwish album, um, which is exciting here. I'm looking forward to it. Even though I am very critical of Nightwish, I still really enjoyed the band. I have removed all of my Nightwish reaction videos, I think except for the very first one that I did on this channel, which was for a live performance of Slaying the Dreamer. Um, but everything else I've removed just simply because there's just so much negativity in the comments and whatnot because the Nightwish stands are extremely toxic. Because you say one thing that's a slight criticism about the band and automatically you deserve to be wiped off the face of the earth in their eyes. Nightwish fans are the K-pop fans of the metal scene. They are just extremely toxic and just horrible. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and dive on into this reaction video, but before we do so, if you guys are new here to my channel, don't forget to hit subscribe. And also while you're down there, definitely give this video a thumbs up because it'll help me out a lot. All my links are in the description box below. And yeah, let's do this. Oh, this outfit though. Oh, let me get a better look at this outfit. Ooh. I really loved floor stage outfits with Out There Forever. I love that she's playing with her voice a lot more with this performance because on the album it's very much just like traditional like metal vocals and everything but here she's experimenting and doing a lot more with her voice and I love it. I just love that you can see just how much fun she's having on stage here too. Oh, 
God, this is such a fun song. I know I talk about this a lot, but I really do miss, like, After Forever so much. I really do wish that the audio and the video quality was a lot better because I want to like examine her outfit more because I, I I just love her outfits from the After Forever days so much like so so much I just love going back and just checking out like these older songs from her and everything because I've talked about this before as well it just seems to me like again not saying that she's sounds bad with Nightwish or anything but it just seems as if she just doesn't shine the same way with Nightwish as she did back with After Forever or revamp and it's just very simple it's very simple it's very easy to digest when it comes to like her vocal talents with Nightwish it's nothing like super explosive and high energy and very much like showing off what it is that she's able to do and like getting into like those really high notes and to the really low notes and getting chaotic and super beautiful and just the back and forth and everything the twists and the turns and whatnot i miss that i miss that a lot simplicity is nice simplicity is nice but i i want chaos and nightwish is just never going to give me that chaos that i want from her and i know some people like on the nightwish reaction video that i did um i took it down but someone a lot of people were upset about me talk just simply making a comment about how i don't like her stage outfits with nightwish that's just a personal thing and everything like i just don't like them they're just I don't know, there's just something about them that I just don't care for and everything. I don't know what it is, it's just an aesthetic thing. I like these outfits here because, like, I don't know, they just seem simpler and they seem, in my opinion, they seem to flatter her a little bit more. Also, they're more exciting, too. I mean, like, even, like, some of her outfits with revamp and everything, like, that red dress. That red dress and that one particular dress that she wore on tour. Uh, I'll try to see if I can find photos of it and everything. That one. That dress so good not saying that she had some bad outfits with nightwish she's had some really nice ones with them as well it's just that a lot of them i tend to not really vibe with because like i said it's just not my thing but this was such a fun performance though and ugh, 
I love her so much. I hope I can see her in live one day, whether it be with Nightwish or maybe some other projects and everything. So we'll just have to wait and see how things go in that department. But uh, until then, we're just gonna be stuck here at home. This was a live performance of Face Your Demons by After Forever. What did you guys think about it? I thought that it was a really fun one. And I'm definitely, I'm gonna be checking out more from the old school stuff from her and everything because I just love the older stuff. I love the older stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know how you felt about it down in the comments below. And also while you're down there, let me know some what songs and videos I should react to next. As long as it's not a Nightwish song because I'm not reacting to Nightwish anymore on this channel because I just can't deal with the Nightwish stance. I'm like, no. Even if I have nothing but positive things to say, they still get pissed off at me for whatever reason. So we're not doing it anymore. Anyways, until I see you guys in my next video, whenever the hell that may be. Goodbye.